what did you feel when you saw the final character, I mean, in Astro post-production? It was very, very weird. It was kind of spooky because, I, you know, it was, it was kind of, I knew all the decisions we'd made on the set. I could see the things I'd done with my face. I could see my eyes. I could see, hear the voice. I could see the movements I'd done. And yet it was this green, spooky mass of beautiful, I mean, not beautiful, ugly, uh, but magnificent creatures. So it was a very unsettling, slightly shocking experience. A, uh, how do you see Hollywood as a, as a sort of, uh, as an industrial center for this industry? Um, I don't really have a view on Hollywood. I just go to work for each project. I don't know much about it, really. I know that if uh, this is where they make movies, and if you want to be in the movies, you have to be, you know, you have to come here to some degree. Although I've made lots of very good movies in England, and, uh, you know, we have a pretty healthy industry there. But Hollywood is obviously the center of everything, um, and I think they make some beautiful stuff. Uh, what makes uh, Johnny Depp such a, a popular icon? I mean, you see all those teenagers. I saw them at the premiere going crazy. Uh, why do you think that is? What qualities do you see in him? Well, I think he's, he's an extremely cool guy. He's an exemplary professional. He's a wonderful actor. And he makes choices which other actors I don't think would make. He takes risks that other actors in his situation wouldn't take. He has delivered original performance after original performance, the kind of performances that would only occur to Johnny. I don't think any, it would have occurred to anyone else but Johnny to play J Jack Sparrow in the way that he plays it, to deliver this part in that fashion. It's such an original idea and so witty. I think he's a very, I think they intuit that he's a very, very good man. He's a very wonderful actor and a very good man. And he's a good thing to have in the world. Cool. I, I want to ask you something about technology. Uh, What's the impact do you think that the internet uh, has in our life now? Has the internet made the world smaller? And what's your favorite thing about that tool, if you use it at all? I bought a computer the other day because for the first time, I took a younger man to the Apple store, and I bought a computer. And I, he said, buy that one. And I bought that one. I don't know anything about them. It was the most expensive one there. I kept it for a week. He programmed it for me and did everything. I kept it for a week, and I kept looking at it, and I felt uneasy and, and, uh, and depressed. And I was very happy when the red light went off. And then in the end, I f made a vow, which was the next person that called me and said they had computer problems and no money, I would say, hey, come over, I've got one. And a young man phoned me and he said, I haven't got, I've got no money and I need a computer. I said, come over to the house. I gave it to him. I don't want it in my life. I absolutely don't want anything to do with it. It was a discovery for me. But in, for other people, it's fabulous. I don't think it's made the world any smaller. I don't think, I think the technology is only as useful as we are. You know what I mean? And we use the internet for all kinds of, you know, sorry things. But uh, I don't know that it's actually, I don't know, w I mean, it's, you know, it's probably helped in many ways, but I don't think it's helped in any fundamental way.